that's show that I never speak before. Yeah, you Very be shy good. boy. Yeah. You'll be good, lah. So anyway, um, I'm in my fifties. Uh, all along, I've been working in the banking sector after I graduated from Australia in Melbourne. I should have had a father like that, lah. So tell me, don't come back. <laughs> but I, I'm also school in economics. Uh, I pick up marketing also, yes, double degree. Um, uh, I went to an applied school in uh, Hawthorne in Swinburne, in Melbourne. It was a great time work, uh, growing up there. Uh, I never knew what was socialism. I'm going to come back to you later. And I'll tell you, socialism is... Uh, somebody asked about socialism, right? It is not, um, it is not uh, uh, communism. Yeah? I grew up in the 60s where uh, commun communalism, not communism, huh? communalism is part and parcel of uh, what you were saying, sharing food and all that, you know. Um, my mother kicked me to Alexandria Village because I'm fighting my brothers in Victoria Street a lot. So when I grew up there, I was able to see for myself, you know, how people share. And, it, and I tell you, in 1967, 68, uh, all the way to 74, 75, that was in my mind for a long time. And when we changed, I long for those days. Even since, since I was a primary school kid, I long for those days again. Because I, we lost the kampong, you know, yeah. you know Alexandra Village. It's called ABC there. And uh, I, I guess that was where communalism inside me stayed until to this day. Yeah? Uh, I, am, I am bipartisan. I'm sorry, I don't use the word non-partisan here. Non-partisan means you're kiasu, kiasi. <laughs> huh? Bipartisan means you are there to engage with uh, cross-culture, with cross-political uh, party. Uh, you're able to um, in line up with them, that you're not as inferior as them, being in this camp or opposition camp. Uh, uh, it's not supposed to talk about politics, eh? Okay. So anyway, I grew up uh, in that uh, kind of circumstances. I grew up seeing how government took away middle-income land, whole stretch along Victoria Street. I become very angry. So I, I read a lot about wars in 74, 75, big nations, bully small nation. I become very politically ingrained. Although I don't know what I was doing, uh, I became a musician. Yeah, I, I, I started a rock band because I wanted to be a rock star. You know? <laughs> uh, it didn't happen, of course. <laughs> The market wasn't ready for it, you know, back in the 70s and 80s and 90s. I know people like Chris Ho and all those people, yeah. Uh, we grew up here, and then after that, uh, I went to Serangoon, and after that, I grew up uh, in Mount Sinai, yeah, where I got to know JB Jaretnam also. Every day, walk past and walk in. I saw it very sad for him, like, you know. He would take bus, you know, to Gimmo, you know. So I got to know him. Uh, I supported him back in 81, Ensign, and... Uh, we know why people were angry, why people were voting for them, and of course, it didn't resonate well with the main party, with the politicians, because it, it seems like a failure that you dare to challenge the mandarins. Um, we are the proletariat, they are the capital. So, sorry, we are the bourgeoisie, they are the proletariat. They will forever be the capital giver. Um, and that's where we need to be proactive. In Australia, I still read a lot of Australian news and watch a lot of Australia ABC because over there, um, uh, the rich people and the poor people, they seem to get along very well in the pub. They dare to mix around like that. Yeah. But over here, we, we are worried to be seen. Uh, I, from there, I, I learned that um, to be rich isn't, isn't everything if you are not successful in uh, relationship, in connection. So from there, I learned already. So when I came back here, because my, my mom passed away, we, we didn't, I migrated already. We have, a, we have the citizenship and everything, but we migrated back again because I didn't want to go there because I wanted to be where my mom land is. My mother died here, so you want to rediscover. It took me 20 years to go over her death, you know, and you learn a lot of things about your mother and all that. Uh, 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 and you get to appreciate, you know, why a very poor person who grew up in Alexandria Village was able to go to the pawn shop and give all her jewelry just to buy Mount Sinai. Mm. I learned something. 
Oh, you don't understand, son, she told me. Because I needed to take a lot of go and thing from Po Heng, you know. If you give me a very good uh, Mount Sinai uh, address, uh, she will, I will be able to take all the gold and start selling and make a profit out of myself. Wow, how smart she was. <laughs> and that was 1976. Uh. <laughs> Back then, there's no Gim Mall yet. No? So I grew up and I saw the, the progress. We were all behind you know, what this uh, uh, great party could do for us. You know? um, I may not say I'm in Maine. I'm some, sort of in the middle. So I came back and I worked for the bank, uh, 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 local banks. Um, and then after that, I worked for a local developer. I learned about uh, how things work and how connect. I'm not a HR person. Uh, as econ economist, I wanted to be an a, a, a analyst, you know. But it didn't happen. You know, I think uh, the good man have something for me. He wanted me to be a, a use the give of my gap for other things, la, sales. La. So I made my money through there, uh, all the way to late 90s. Uh, I've never seen any foreigners in my means back then, the late 90s. And it started to happen, maybe not in banks. Uh, because in banks, you need certain kind of uh, uh, licenses uh, from MAS, yeah. which is not easy to pass. No Pinoy can pass, no Indian can pass, no, definitely no Chinese can pass. Yeah. I'm coming to that. <laughs> i tell you why. And uh, uh, that's because uh, uh, these are local banks. They have local, a lot of local uh, customer coming in, and you cross sell. Uh, why Stan Chart Bank? A lot of Pinoys. And a lot of Indians. Uh, I took those tests recently again because I'm lacking some, some modules. I don't see any Indians at all in the class. Um, I don't see a lot of them. But I don't know how to get around it. Somebody can tell me how they get around those capital market licenses where you have to be very into it, you know. But I guess they have the <coughs> modern answers. Uh, maybe they, have, they know how to pass, like, you know, it's an MCQ thing. So, um, yes, they will not hire a lot of locals in Stanchart Bank. Okay? Uh, it, uh, for example, these banks and HSBC to a lesser extent. Um, because banking, private banking and wealth is a certain area where you get to see where all our masters put our money into. Okay? OCBC also. Okay? I worked in a Malaysian bank uh, after, nine, after uh, two, uh, mid-2000 when the crisis came, 2008. Gosh, I cannot make man, m money myself. From 98 all the way to 2008, I was on my own. I'm independent financial advisor. So, uh, they changed the rules along the way, CPF and all that. So a lot of people cannot take money out of CPF to invest. So I used to go to people and I do a lot of entertainment just to take C CPF money out and, you know, uh, make money for them so that they can uh, have they can grow faster than their four percent. <coughs> Simple as that. I was valuable for that. So they changed the rule. I'm not able to anymore. Now you have to have a minimum uh, twenty or forty thousand in a special account. So I, I I begin to go back to work for a bank. It wasn't easy to go back because Malaysian bank had to cut a few uh, uh, a few uh, um, entertainment just to get it done. You know, uh, with the HR and some uh, family office people. Uh, and then, um, uh, okay, one more minute. Eh? One minute. Yeah. From there, I'm able to uh, work for Malaysians. And then after about a few years, I was asked to leave, you know, in a very nice way. You know, hey, your family needs you, you better go, you know. And uh, internal transfer with Malaysians, you know. Uh, I was thinking about 6K, not a lot, no, for, for wealth management. Some, some of their people came down, they take 10K, I said, hey. They are getting more than me. <laughs> Why? I mean, you know, uh, you're saying about if you're replaced in Singapore, you get lower, right? But my case was diff the other way around. I couldn't understand. <laughs> so I thought like, well, I'm very bad. Like, I must be a very lousy worker. <laughs> That's the kind of things they make you feel, you know, yeah. which is not true, really. So I just want to uh, tell you all there is hope for minimum wages. Having minimum wages doesn't mean that, hmm, I'll find ways to make you uh, pay you lower, not higher. It actually, is to tell people that we are worth more than that, not worth less than that. So I think it's about time we have that now. Uh, and we shouldn't see uh, socialism as a bad system. Socialism is a system. It is not communism. It's how we get there. Uh, uh, communism and capitalism are uh, right at the end of each continuum. So socialism is somewhere in the middle, right? Yes. So I, I think you're on a new left. Huh? Yeah, I'm 
Sorry, I come, I, went, I come from a new right. I think it's high time to shift to the left. <laughs> Australia has really shifted to the left. I, I think so should we. Yeah? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.